Uh, hey, before we run into this video, I just want to really tell you guys, please subscribe to my channel. It comes to my notice that, unfortunately, only 25% of the people who watch my stuff are subscribed. So if you aren't, please consider if you want to see more really dumb stuff from me, right? Take care, guys. Ooh, what's up, guys? And welcome back to another episode of whether or not Pokemon fix or ruin a certain Pokemon. Today's episode, we're going to cover Luxray. Luxray has for the longest time really been that offensive Pokemon that didn't get to be offensive due to Electivar. Introduced the course same generation, Electivar being vastly superior from the get-go really and it never really recovered from that but it got in this generation a few tools that made it definitely more viable and while it still resizes on tier I wouldn't definitely say that it still is a very very strong Pokemon. First and foremost of course, the flame or rather burn nerf really made Guts a more, well, resilient and better tool for it. It always is capable of carrying stuff like Intimidate and Rivalry, but Guts is where it's at and it's something it does really well. With a 120 base attack, you know it's gonna sting when it hurts, and it's fairly defensive at 79 in both defenses. It is the speed, it kinda holds it back a little bit at 70, uh, which in essence has been remedied because it got access to agility, which all of a sudden make sure they can run guts and you can run agility and pretty much negate whatever um that of course it speeds or decides it also carries yourself to be able to use something like adamant to really boost yourself to a very very strong attack stat as the agility pretty much ensures you have speed 110 uh, scoffers which is fine in most scenarios that said it has a special attack that is usable but it doesn't really get any special attack besides, you know, the Volt Switch want to capitalize on Piveting, which is something it can and should do with the Intimidate set, but we're going to mostly focus on the Gut sets as it got a few tools this generation. While Wildcard is his main bread and butter offensively, it also got Play Rough and it got Throat Chop. It also have access to all the elemental, well, fangs, and, well, I guess it's somewhat, I would say sad, that it doesn't get strong jaw, I think it would have been very great for it, Consider Bolt Hound kind of covers that, but here we are yet again, where a Pokemon gets all the elemental thingies, yet can't capitalize on all of it, and it also got Psychic Fang, or Psy Fang, um, and just overall, it got a lot of buffs to make it a lot more reliable, and in my book, very, very capable. It already has Super Power, for example, and Crunch, which is a fair move in itself, uh, but it always will be forced to use Wild Charge. While it has Spark, uh, it is, um, well, not even close of a good of a move as something like Wild Charge. And while it doesn't have the massive HP stats, you'll be able to carry around that just fine. So, in which scenarios do Luxray work? Well, it doesn't, of course, um, work like your standard Luxray type. It doesn't have the speed, it doesn't have the special attack, and it doesn't have necessarily all the capabilities of a U-turn to pivot around. Uh, it just like I stated here, get Volt Switch, but you want to use this in a Trick Room team or in a Tailwind team where you can capitalize on speed or even go so far as a Stick Web team where the speed tier will pretty much be decisive by this set alone. And of course, you can carry something like Agility to negate all of that. And where this is where, of course, well, it shines because all you need is a Wild Charge Facade, Crunch or Super Power and you should be good to go. There really aren't that many good switch-ins and the few that are really struggle to soak a hit. While, like I said, it is not the most offensive Pokemon out there, it is one of the few mons that, due to the burn not carrying you down as far as the daily in the previous generation, which only being 1 of 16 of damage, it also can stomach a hit and retaliate, and now being able to possibly outspeed and get two hits in, yeah, it's a nasty mon. Super power kind of work against it, you know, dropping both attack and defense, but there is, well, very much upside to that. I mean, Take this contrast, Steelix is to it KO'd by this scenario. Uh, while it will lose the matchup, just that it can to it KO it is, in my book, an absolute win. And in my book, yes, Luxray has still ways to go, but it absolutely fixed a large majority of it. And I'm very happy to say that Luxray is back in the game, and I would very much consider it just on par with what Electivire is doing today. And that is not a bad feat, considering 10 years has passed since then. So that said, what Pokemon do you want to see covered, fixed or ruined? I'll cover them both. And with that said, I'll see you guys in the next video. Till then, take care, one right.